bizarre reason, for several years people have been asking our opinions on books, even though our profession is teeth, and so we have thought that now is an appropriate time to launch the White House Book Club. And so naturally we're starting with our least favourite books from school. And me, being the teacher's pet, was the only one to bring my own copy of the book. Well, you say that, but then I've got a... that's my book. And this is mine. Mm -hmm. Pathetic. <laughs> anyway, let's start. <laughs> Gillian, yes. what is your fav oh, least favourite book? My least favourite book, I'm sad to say, is by Jane Austen and it's Northanger Abbey. So I had to study this book for O-Level, which is a very long time ago. Um, but for O-Level we had to do this one, Northanger Abbey, Macbeth and some war poets. But, oh gosh, I've never read Jane Austen since. It's kind of put me off. I don't know, you're not a fan of Jane Austen. I'm, I'm a really. huge fan of Jane Austen. It's a bit twee. It just sounds girly to me, so... It is girly. <laughs> but I, I, do you know what? I don't think I actually finished it which is why I didn't get a very good grade in my English Lit O level. But, um, but no, it's just typical Jane Austen, and it's Regency, and it's marriage, and it's supposed to be funny, but not really. So yeah, it just didn't appeal to me at all. But I mean, have you ever gone back and read it since? No, what? and I've never read Jane Austen, I've never read Pride and Prejudice, or any of those other ones. But, although you haven't read them, have you watched all the um, television dramatisations no. of them? No. Not even the BBC versions. <laughs> Colin you Firth! Haven't. No, I haven't. Now that really surprises me because, I mean, I, I haven't myself because it's the small sort of thing appeals to me. But is that because that's put you off or because you just don't fancy that sort of thing? I think this probably put me off, the whole thing, because I had to read it and I didn't like it. And I'm not the sort of person that will read a book that I don't like, but I actually had to read this one. Jane Austen's just not my thing. It's just not. It doesn't appeal to me at all. No, I have to agree with that. I mean, I can sit there and watch the um, the film of Pride and Prejudice for hours on end, and and the BBC um, series as well. But, but not, I just but can't. not go back and read it. I hate Jane. That's interesting. Have you read Jane Austen? Yes, I have. In fact, what's absolutely awful is if you were to look at my bookcase, um, the book that looks the most tatty is Pride and Prejudice, which gives sort of this illusion that I'm some <laughs> massive Jane Austen fan. And I'm not, it's just if I really like a book, I will, I'll, I'll look after it really well. I have to look after my books like they're friends. Right. Um, if I don't like a book, I'll just... Yeah. And Pride and Prejudice looks absolutely So yeah, so I'm afraid it just put me off Jane Austen for life. So I'm sorry to all you Jane Austen fans out there, but it's not for me. Well, mine's quite different because this is the book that I really, really struggled with at school, To Kill a Mockingbird. Um, and I think I just didn't get it at school, to be honest. Well, there were lots of things I didn't get at school. Um, and it's easy to blame the teachers, but in a way I think that's true. Um, we were just introduced to so many things. I mean, Shakespeare's the same. And I still don't really like Shakespeare because I never really got it. Um, I mean, what happened was that you you, you know, you dove into Shakespeare and the minute you started you were tested on quotes and this and that. But no one actually told you the whole story. Um, and I remember sort of seeing, and it wasn't the Leonardo DiCaprio one, um, it was another, it was actually a cartoon, um, okay. Romeo and Juliet. Okay. And, and this was years after um, studying it for English at school. And all of a sudden I got it. Um, and I, th I just think it's so short-sighted um, for them to just want you to learn the quotes and analyse something before you actually know the story. See, we had that at school because I had to do Macbeth row level at the same time as this and not really getting it. And then they took us to see the Roman Polanski film of Macbeth and suddenly the penny dropped. Yeah. I mean, you were like that with To Kill a Mockingbird, I think, weren't well, you? Well, this is why I'm getting yeah. back to Kill a Mockingbird mm -hmm. because I haven't actually gone back and read it since. Um, but... I often feel I ought to. I haven't even seen the film. Oh, um, the I, film's I'm, amazing. I'm, well, so I gather. But I think it's just the, the, the way that it was, we went through it at school just totally put me off. And of course, ever since, once well, you say, I've seen 101 clips of the film, um, but not actually seen it. And it's one of those sort of, I suppose, Sunday afternoons where you think you ought to just sit down um, and, and watch it. And, you know, we've all seen. I think one of the other things that put me off were some of the, the names. I mean, at, at the age of Finch. Atticus Finch. That's a great you know, name. when you're 12 or whatever. Scout. It, yeah, exactly. And Scout. Jeb and. Um, Scout. 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 Jeb and. Is it Dill? Or? And yes, Bill. 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 Bradley. Very, very strange. I'm a dog called Dill. Um, so that's my book. 
Um, you did that for GCSE, didn't you? I did, and there's a funny story attached to Kill a, Mock to, to Kill a Mockingbird and me. Um, the only time that I have ever been removed from a classroom <laughs> um, was to do with To Kill a Mockingbird. I must have been about 15 and I took such a disliking to this book. And again, I think it's a, it had a lot to do with the fact that, like you were saying, it was being looked at from such an analytical yeah. point of view rather than just a, appreciating it for what it was, a, a story um, about racial injustice in America, in America. And we were looking at it from such a really quite sort of blueprinted, pulled apart. Yeah, no, absolutely. Really... And I don't really know, I, I, mean, I, t I mean, I get the impression that teaching in schools now is totally different, um, certainly than it was uh, 45 years ago, wherever. Um, but in a way, you sort of felt, and I don't really remember whether we did or didn't get this, where the teacher was a here's a book, go away and read it. When everyone's read it, we'll come back and talk about it. But I don't think, that, well, definitely didn't happen in my school. You started reading it chapter by chapter and analysing it chapter by yeah. chapter. Yeah. I, I, and I don't know, I guess it's changed now. See, it's know. interesting that you say that, though, because the, the books that you studied, as you say, at O level, you two studying at O level, for me it was A level and GCSE, the books are exactly the same. So my A level... Um, syllabus was exactly the same as that that Jill studied when she was right. doing her A-levels. Wow. We did Macbeth, um, we did Othello, um, we did the war poets and um, and we did Jane Austen as well. Yes. Nothing's really changed all that yeah. much. It is interesting because you're right because we did the war poets which I enjoyed but we also did 20th century poets as well mm. which I absolutely loved you know whether it be Ted Hughes or... <laughs> uh, not your thing huh? Not your thing? No. 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 So what's your book Liv? So I've brought along the Let which is probably the least well-known, I would say, out of the selection we have here, um, by Charlotte Bronte. Um, I studied this um, in my final year of university. I remember you doing it. Oh, I think we all remember me doing it. <laughs> um, I read Villette over a period of about two or three days um, because I had to for, I had to for, um, for my studies and I was writing an essay um, at the time. And I started to notice a bit of a pattern with my dislike for books, and generally they're books that are named after places. Right. It was a real toss-up between Villette and Middlemarch, because everyone knows how much I hate Middlemarch. Um, but I've bleated on enough about that, so I thought I'd bring along some uh, Bronte. Um, this just really let me down, to be honest, because Charlotte Bronte obviously wrote Jane Eyre, which is a brilliant book. Brilliant book, and if you haven't read it, I would suggest you do. If you like that sort of if thing. If you like that sort well, of no, thing. Well, Jane Eyre was quite good. I've never read this one, though. Yeah, no, Jane, Jane Eyre, I think, appeals to a lot of different groups of people, no matter what your taste in mm -hmm. literature. I brought along Villette mostly because it is just a book that has no substance to it at all, and I don't care who what, is... What's the story? That's the point. <laughs> oh, OK. <laughs> it's about this, um, this woman. She goes over to France. She goes and stays in um, as a she's a sort of teacher um, in this um, institution, and there's some weird things with nuns, and it's all about sort of um, the gaze and um, being what? sort of being watched almost. There's this idea of being watched the whole way through the and gaze. perspectives like gaze, oh, gaze. Okay. <laughs> <Chill. All right. laughs> it's a very fat book for nothing to happen. It's on. It's it's very rare that I would say that a book really just lacked anything. I couldn't take anything away from this book, and I wouldn't suggest to anyone to read it because I came away from it, and not a single person I know, and I know a lot of people, walked away <laughs> having. <laughs> Says she, <at> tender age of. <laughs> the tender age of twenty four. I know a lot of people, and everyone I know who's read this book has said it was the biggest waste of time. Oh. Even in comparison to Middlemarch, which, whilst long and incredibly boring, I could, I could, I could say I took something away from. Oh, well, well there you go. Well, next time, perhaps, I, we'll do something a little bit more... Well, next time, we'll uplifting. do something a lot more uplifting. Um, we'll do some of our favourite, favourite ones, what we're reading at the moment, yeah. um, and some recommendations. Yep. Yes. OK. But I do not recommend this. <laughs> <laughs> An anti recommendation. <laughs> yeah. So, until next time we all meet. Okay. Thank you.